Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful summer sun hat. It's super easy to make. I love it so much. So far I made two of this hat. Here's another one. It's beautiful color. And this is very packable too. I'm using a raffia yarn. Beautiful. I have three written pattern include this women's sizes, small, medium, and large. For size medium, it will fit most women head, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. And if you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available for purchase on our Etsy, Ravelry, and Love Craft. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. And please Check in description below for all the details that you need to know to make this beautiful sun hat. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. For this project, I use 100% paper raffia yarn from Perfect Yarns on SC. This one in color caramel. In each skin, it has 262 yards, but I didn't use the whole skin. I have some left as well. And I use three millimeter crochet hook, yarn needle, one stitch marker, and scissors. Okay, we're gonna start off with a magic ring. You can use any method you prefer to make a magic ring. And here's what I like to do. I twist my yarn like this. The short tail is on top. Then I pin just right here. Insert the hook into that loop, yarn over hook, pull our loop and chain one. The chain one doesn't count at a stitch. It's the part of a magic ring. And now we have a magic ring. Round one, we're gonna make eight single crochet into this ring space. Insert the hook into that ring space, yarn over hook, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. That is my first single crochet on round one. And then place a stitch marker into the first stitch. So we're gonna work in spiral. We're not gonna slip stitch to end the round and we're not gonna chain one to start new round. We just keep on going. The stitch marker is very important, okay? So I'm gonna keep making one single crochet into this ring space until I have eight single crochet. So this is my first one. Insert the hook into the same ring space, yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. Here's two, and then repeat. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Then we're gonna close up this hole by pulling the short tail here. Just pull it, pull it tight. Okay. Round one is complete. I have eight single crochet total. For round two, we're gonna make two single crochet into each stitch around. So remove the stitch marker and then I insert the hook into that first stitch. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. That is my first single crochet on round two. And don't forget to uh, place a stitch marker into the first stitch in every round. Then I'm gonna make one more single crochet into the same stitch. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. two single crochet into the next stitch. All right, keep making two single crochet into each stitch around. I'm at the end of round two and I have 16 single crochet stitches around. And for round three, we remove the stitch marker and then make one single crochet into that first stitch. And place a stitch marker into the first stitch. Then make 
two single crochet into the next stitch. Alright, we're gonna repeat this around. We're gonna make one single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So single crochet into the next, two single crochet into the next, and repeat one single crochet into the next, two single crochet into the next. Okay, you're gonna repeat this. You're gonna make a single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that around. I'm at the end of round three and I have 24 single crochet stitches. And for round four, we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and then repeat that around. We move the stitch marker and then make single crochet into the first stitch. Place the stitch marker into the first stitch. And then make one single crochet into the next stitch. And two single crochet into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat this. We're gonna make one single crochet into each of next two stitches. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. So single crochet, and then single crochet, and then two single crochet. And then repeat, one single crochet into next stitch, and then one single crochet into the next stitch, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. All right. You're gonna repeat, you're gonna make one single crochet into each of next two stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that around. I'm at the end of round four and I have 32 single crochet stitches. And for round five, I'm gonna make one single crochet into each of next three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that around. Remove the stitch marker. Make one single crochet into the first stitch Place the stitch marker into the first stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. And repeat one single crochet into each of next three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So single crochet into the next, single crochet into the next, single crochet into the next, two single crochet into the next. Okay, so you're gonna repeat this. You're gonna make one single crochet into each of next three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and repeat that around. I'm at the end of round five and I have 40 single crochet stitches. And for round six, I'm gonna make one single crochet into each of next four stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And I'm gonna repeat that around. Remove the stitch marker, make the first single crochet into the first stitch and place the stitch marker into the first stitch. And then make one single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat this. We're gonna make one single crochet into each of next four stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So single crochet into the next, 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 two single crochet into the next. Okay, so 
you're gonna repeat you're gonna make one single crochet into each of next four stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and repeat that around I'm at the end of round six and I have 48 stitches and for round seven we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around no increase remove the stitch marker and then make one single crochet into the first stitch then place the stitch marker into the first stitch and then make one single crochet into each stitch around I'm at the end of round seven and I have the same 48 single crochet stitches and for round eight I gonna remove the stitch marker first then I gonna make one single crochet into that first stitch and then place the stitch marker into the first stitch and then make one single crochet into the next stitch and then make two single crochet into the next stitch okay now we're gonna start our repeat so we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next five stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and that is gonna be the pattern repeat okay so make single crochet into next stitch Yes, one single crochet into the next two single crochet into the next three single crochet into the next four single crochet into the next five and then make two single crochet into the next stitch and we're gonna repeat we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next five stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch one two three four five and then make two single crochet into the next stitch all right you're gonna repeat you're gonna make one single crochet into each of next five stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch keep repeating that until you have three stitches left then i will be back okay now i have three stitches left and i'm gonna make one single crochet into each of next three stitches At the end of round eight i have a total of 56 single crochet stitches for round nine we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next six stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and we're gonna repeat that around remove the stitch marker and make one single crochet into that first stitch and then place the stitch marker into the first stitch single crochet into the next stitch so so far I have two so I need six single crochet yes three four five six and then make two single crochet into the next stitch and then we're gonna repeat this we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next six stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch so single crochet into the next stitch yes one single crochet into the next stitch two three four five Six, and then make two single crochet into the next stitch all right
right so you're gonna repeat this you're gonna make one single crochet into each of next six stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeat that around I'm at the end of round 9 and I have 64 single crochet stitches for round 10 remove the stitch marker and then make one single crochet into the first stitch and place the stitch marker into the first stitch and then one single crochet into the next stitch one single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch okay now we're gonna start the repeat and the repeat is going to be one single crochet into each of next seven stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and repeat that okay so make one single crochet into each of next seven stitches so here's one two three four five six seven and then make two single crochet into the next stitch and then repeat one single crochet into each of next seven stitches so one two three four five six seven and then two single crochet into the next stitch okay you're gonna repeat this you're gonna make one single crochet into each of next seven stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch keep repeating that until you have four stitches left okay now i have four stitches left i'm gonna make one single crochet into each of next four stitches at the end of round 10 i have a total of 72 single crochet stitches for round 11 we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around no increase remove the stitch marker make the first single crochet into the first stitch place the stitch marker into the first stitch and then make one single crochet into each stitch around at the end of round 11 I have the same 72 single crochet stitches for round 12 we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next eight stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and we're gonna repeat that around remove the stitch marker and then make one single crochet into the first stitch place the stitch marker into the first stitch one single crochet into the next two three four five six seven eight and then two single crochet into the next stitch And repeat one single crochet into each of next eight stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch one two three four seven eight and then two single crochet into the next stitch Oh, 
Okay, so you're gonna repeat, you're gonna make one single crochet into each of next eight stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that around. I'm at the end of round 12 and I have a total of 80 stitches. For round 13, we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next four stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. That is not the pattern repeat, okay? So we remove the stitch marker and make the first single crochet into the first stitch. Place the stitch marker into the first stitch. So here's one single crochet into the next stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch, three and single crochet into the next stitch, four. And then make two single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, now we're gonna start the repeat. The repeat is going to be one single crochet into each of next nine stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and we're gonna repeat that. So single crochet into the next stitch. Here's one. Here's two. Three. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, then we're gonna repeat, we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next nine stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So single crochet into the next. Here's one, two, three, eight, nine. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. So we're going to repeat, we're going to make one single crochet into each of next nine stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Keep repeating that until you have five stitches left. I have five stitches left. I'm going to make one single crochet into each of next five stitches. At the end of round 13, I have a total of 88 single crochet stitches. And for round 14, we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around, no increase. Remove the stitch marker, make the first single crochet into the first stitch. Place the stitch marker into the first stitch. And then make one single crochet into each stitch around. I'm at the end of round 14 and I have the same 88 single crochet stitches and for round 15 we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 10 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and we're gonna repeat that around. So remove the stitch marker, make the first single crochet into the first stitch, place the stitch marker into the first stitch. So here's one single crochet into the next stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and then make two single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're gonna repeat, we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 10 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. 
so single crochet into the next stitch yes one two three nine ten and then make two single crochet into the next stitch all right so we're gonna repeat we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 10 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that around i'm at the end of round 15 and i have a total of 96 single crochet stitches and for round 16 we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around no increase so remove the stitch marker make the first single crochet into the first stitch place the stitch marker into the first stitch and then make one single crochet into each stitch around I'm at the end of round 16 and I have the same 96 single crochet stitches and for round 17 to round 35 I'm gonna repeat round 16 okay just make one single crochet into each stitch around no increase or decrease so I'm gonna show you a little bit on round 17 I remove the stitch marker and then make the first single crochet into the first stitch then place the stitch marker into the first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch around super easy all right i'm gonna keep repeating round 16 until i reach the end of round 35 then i will be back I'm at the end of round 35 and here's what it looks like. Next, we're gonna make the brim. So round 36 is gonna be the brim. We're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 11 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and repeat that around. Remove the stitch marker and make the first single crochet into the first stitch there and then place the stitch marker into the first stitch so this is one single crochet into the next two single crochet into the next three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then make two single crochet into the next stitch okay and then repeat one single crochet into each of next 11 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch so single crochet into the next stitch here's one two three ten eleven and then make two single crochet into the next stitch okay you're gonna repeat this you're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 11 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that around i'm at the end of round 36 and i have a total of 104 stitches around and for round 37 we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next five stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch that is not the pattern repeat okay so we remove the stitch marker make the first single crochet into the first stitch place the stitch marker into the first stitch so here's one single crochet into the next two single crochet into the next three four five and then make two single crochet into the next stitch 
and now we're gonna start the pattern repeat the pattern repeat is going to be one single crochet into each of next 12 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and we're gonna repeat that so make a single crochet into each of next 12 stitches here's one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then make two single crochet into the next stitch. Oops. Okay. So you're gonna repeat this, you're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 12 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Keep repeating that until you have seven stitches left. Then I will be back. Now I have seven stitches left. I'm gonna make one single crochet into each of next seven stitches. At the end of round 37, I have a total of 112 stitches. And for round 38, we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 13 stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that around. Remove the stitch marker. Make the first single crochet into the first stitch. Place the stitch marker into the first stitch. Here's one single crochet into the next stitch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Then make two single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat, make one single crochet into each of next 13 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. One, two, three, 12, 13 and then make two single crochet into the next stitch. So you're gonna repeat this, you're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 13 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that around. I'm at the end of round 38 and I have a total of 120 stitches around and for round 39, we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next six stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch that is not going to be the pattern repeat okay so we move the stitch marker make the first single crochet into the first stitch and place the stitch marker into the first stitch so here's one single crochet into the next stitch two three four five Six, and then make two single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, now we're gonna start the repeat. The repeat is going to be one single crochet into each of next 14 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and we're gonna repeat that. So single crochet into each of next 14 stitches. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen and then two single crochet into the next stitch. 
Okay, so you're gonna repeat this. You're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 14 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Keep repeating that until you have eight stitches left. I have eight stitches left. I'm gonna make one single crochet into each of next eight stitches. At the end of round 39, I have a total of 128 stitches around. For round 40, we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around, no increase. Remove the stitch marker, make the first single crochet into the first stitch. Place the stitch marker into the first stitch, and then make one single crochet into each stitch around. I'm at the end of round 40 and I have the same 128 single crochet stitches and for round 41 we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 15 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and we're gonna repeat that around so here's the first stitch Single crochet into the next. Here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, and then make two single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, you're gonna repeat this. You're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 15 stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that around. I'm at the end of round 41 and I have a total of 136 stitches and for round 42 we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next seven stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and that is not gonna be the pattern repeat okay so we remove the stitch marker make the first single crochet into the first stitch place the stitch marker into the first stitch so here's one single crochet into the next stitch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then make two single crochet into the next stitch. And now we're gonna start the repeat. The repeat is going to be one single crochet into each of next 16 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and we're gonna repeat that. So single crochet into the next stitch. Here's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then make two single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, so you're gonna repeat this. You're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 16 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. You're gonna keep repeating that until you have nine stitches left. 
I have nine stitches left. I'm gonna make one single crochet into each of next nine stitches. At the end of round 42, I have a total of 144 stitches. And for round 43, we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around, no increase. So remove the stitch marker and make the first single crochet into the first stitch and place the stitch marker into the first stitch. And then make one single crochet into each stitch around. I'm at the end of round 43 and I have the same 144 single crochet stitches around. For round 44, we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 17 stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch. We're gonna repeat that around. Remove the stitch marker and then make the first single crochet into the first stitch. Place the stitch marker into the first stitch. So here's one single crochet into the next stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch, three, four, sixteen, seventeen, and then make two single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, so you're gonna repeat this, you're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 17 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Keep repeating that around. I'm at the end of round 44 and I have a total of 152 stitches. And for round 45, we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next eight stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And that is not gonna be the pattern repeat. Okay, so remove the stitch marker, make the first single crochet into the first stitch, place the stitch marker into the first stitch. So here's one, single crochet into the next stitch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then make two single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, now we're gonna start the repeat. The repeat is going to be one single crochet into each of next 18 stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch, and we're gonna repeat that. So, single crochet into the next stitch, Here's one, single crochet into the next stitch, two, three, four, seventeen, eighteen. And then make two single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, we're gonna repeat this, we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 18 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Keep repeating that until you have 10 stitches left. I have 10 stitches left. I'm gonna make one single crochet into each of next 10 stitches. At the end of round 45, I have a total of 160 stitches around. And for round 46, we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around, no increase. Remove the stitch marker, make the first single crochet into the first stitch. Place the stitch marker into the first stitch. And then make one single crochet into each stitch around. I'm at the end of round 46 and I have the same 160 stitches around. And for round 47, we're gonna make 
one single crochet into each of next 19 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and we're gonna repeat that around make a single crochet into the first stitch place the stitch marker into the first stitch so here's one single crochet into the next stitch two single crochet into the next stitch three four five eighteen nineteen and then make two single crochet into the next stitch okay so you're gonna repeat this you're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 19 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeat that around I'm at the end of round 47 and I have a total of 168 stitches and for round 48 we're gonna make one single crochet into each of next nine stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and that is not gonna be the pattern repeat okay so remove the stitch marker make the first single crochet into the first stitch place the stitch marker into the first stitch so here's one single crochet into the next stitch two three four five six seven eight nine and then make two single crochet into the next stitch and now we're gonna start the repeat and the repeat is going to be one single crochet into each of next 20 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch so single crochet into the next stitch here's one single crochet into the next two three nineteen twenty and then make two single crochet into the next stitch so you can now repeat this you're gonna make one single crochet into each of next 20 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch keep repeating that until you have 11 stitches left and I will be back I have 11 stitches left I'm gonna make one single crochet into each of next 11 stitches at the end of round 48 I have a total of 176 stitches and for round 49 we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around no increase so we move the stitch marker make the first single crochet into the first stitch place the stitch marker into the first stitch and then make one single crochet into each stitch around I'm at the end of round 49 and I have the same 176 stitches around and for round 50 we're gonna remove the stitch marker and then make a slip stitch into that first stitch insert the hook there yarn over hook pull up a loop and pull it through okay and then we're gonna make a beginning cluster stitch so we're gonna start with chain three and then yarn over hook insert the hook into the same stitch that we make a slip stitch yarn over hook pull up a loop three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two loops we cannot do this into the same stitch two more times so yarn over hook insert the hook into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over hook insert the hook into the same stitch 
yarn over global loop, yarn over pull through two loops. Now I have four loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and then chain one to complete the beginning cluster stitch. Okay, and now we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Skip three stitches. One, two, three. And then into the next stitch, we're gonna make a cluster stitch. So we yarn over, insert the hook into that stitch. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. We're gonna do that three more times into the same stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Two more times. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. One more time. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And now I have five loops on my hook. Next, we're gonna yarn over hook and pull through all the loops on the hook. So when I yarn over hook, I like to turn the tip of my hook down a little bit so that easier to pull through all the loops on the hook. Like that. And then chain one to complete the cluster stitch. And then we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Okay, we're just gonna repeat this. We're gonna skip three stitches. One, two, three. Into the next stitch, we're gonna make a cluster stitch. Do the same. Yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. We're gonna do that total of four times. So three more times to go. Okay, I have five loops on my hook. I yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and then chain one to complete the cluster stitch. Okay, then we chain three. One, two, three. And repeat, skip three stitches. One, two, three. Into the next stitch, we're gonna make a cluster stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. We're gonna do that four times. This is the first time. Two, three, four. And then I have five loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and then chain one to complete the cluster stitch. All right, you're gonna keep repeating this around. So we have a cluster stitch here and then you're gonna chain three and then skip three stitches and then make a cluster stitch into the next stitch and then you're gonna repeat, you're gonna chain three, skip three stitches and then make a cluster stitch into the next stitch. Repeating that around. Okay, so at the end, you're gonna have three stitches left so you're gonna chain three first, then skip the last three stitches, and then you're gonna make a slip stitch into the top of the beginning cluster stitch here. Insert the hook there, yarn over hook, pull up a loop, and pull it through. Round 50 is complete, and I have a total of 44 cluster stitches. It's gorgeous. Okay, for round 51, we're gonna make five single crochet into each chain space around. So this is gonna be the first chain space. So insert the hook right into that space and make a single crochet. This is the first single crochet. I'm gonna place the stitch marker into the first single crochet. Then make four more single crochet into the same space.
Okay, so I have five total into that space. So into the next space, make five single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And then five single crochet into the next space. One, two, three, four, five. All right, you're gonna keep making five single crochet into each chain space around. I'm at the end of round 51. And I have a total of 220 single crochet stitches. And for round 52, we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around. Remove the stitch marker and then make the first single crochet into that first stitch. And place the stitch marker into the first stitch. And make one single crochet into each stitch around. I'm at the end of round 52 and I have the same 220 stitches around and for round 53 we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around no increase I'm at the end of round 53 and I have the same 220 stitches around and then next we're gonna cut the yarn and weave the end so I cut my yarn leave a little bit of tail just enough to weaving the end and then I pull my yarn out I'm gonna show you how I like to finish my work so I'm gonna insert the tail into my yarn needle then I'm gonna skip the next stitch here, right at the marker stitch, and insert my needle into the next stitch. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove that stitch marker. And then I bring the yarn inside. And I'm gonna insert my needle into the last single crochet that I just made right at the middle where the tail come from and then go inside the head like that see we just create a new stitch here and you need to adjust it a little bit then you can go ahead and weave the end inside the head I will do that later and here's what it looks like I think it's very nice and clean I hope you enjoy making this hat and I would love to see everyone's work. If you want to share your work with me, just tag me on Facebook or Instagram at ditcrowaddict. I'm going to put all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.